YouTube. We are back again today for another Bauer Family Learns, where I teach someone in my family how to play a game. I teach you at the same time. And I'm here today with my four-year-old son, Luke. Banja. And we're going to be playing, for Luke's very first time, Cranium Caribou. This is for ages three plus. And this is a magical treasure-finding game, Luke. So inside of this treasure chest is some treasure. If you can get that treasure, you're going to win the game. But well, how do you open it? That's a great question. In order to open it, you're going to have to find all these magical balls right here. These magical bouncy balls right here. I know. Which is easy, right? You what? found them. No, wrong. First thing we need to do, put all the balls into it. the holes. I got it. While you're doing that, I will shuffle up these beginner cards right here. Now, there are beginner cards, and there's also advanced cards. But, for Luke, since he's four, we're going to be using the beginner cards, and it's his first time. So, uh, I'll show you at the end, but these are double-sided, so on the back, they will have higher numbered items. Well, that's a one. They'll have higher numbered items and more letters and different things like that. But there's a T you have to open for for keys. Yes, D's. there you go. So now I can see the key. So this is the special key we're going to be using. But you can only open it if you have the magical card. So we're going to flip over the first card. I need to do it first. You want to do it? All right. Flip it over. Just put it right there. We'll start a discard pile right there. So what is that? A square. Yeah, it's a square. So you get to open up one of the pictures that has a square on it so there are three shapes do you see the different shapes yeah. what shapes do we got out there triangle triangle circles, circles and squares. squares so which square would you like to open first in shadows and there's a lots of different ways to play this game. Luke, the way that I like to play it sometime is that you have to find open the treasure chest before all these boxes are. Is there is there a ball right down there? Nope. Nope, which means don't get in front of the camera too much. Which means no no no, we keep that one open. Boop. We keep searching. Because if all of these boxes get open and we don't open the treasure chest, that's when I say we would lose. But I don't actually think there's a way to lose in the regular game. But anyway, flip over the next card. What do we got this time? Ooh, what do you got? A three. A three. That says three. So you have to count how many of each picture there are and look for one that has a three on it. Do you see any of them that have three things on them? I said a two. <laughs> Oh, there's three anchors. You know what an anchor is? Oh, dog ball! Whoa! So place that right in here and see if it opens the treasure chest. Not yet. Not yet. Do you know what an anchor is, though? Yeah, it's it when you stick it down in the water. Yeah, so if you had a boat and you're like, all right, we're going to stay on this boat and we're going to fish, you don't want to be sailing all around, do you? So you put down the anchor so that way your boat wouldn't move too far. Next card, good sir. Is it your turn? No, no. I'm just here to help you play. We don't have to take turns if you don't want it. Because I know you like doing the cards and the keys and stuff. All right, something. So what is that? A B. That is a letter B. So you have to find one of these pictures that has a big letter B, a capital letter B. Oh, so what, what are those? Uh... Boxes. No, not boxes. They're b b books. They also could be b b boxes because they do start with a b, but books start with a b, so that's why they put the big b. Let's see. Oh no, wrong one. Shoop, that one. You you uh, the key. Put the keyhole on top. Okay. So there we go. And don't worry, I've done that plenty of times. Uh -huh. yeah. No, no, no. Remember, it stays open because that's if all these are open and the treasure chest isn't open, we lose. Slip over the next one. What do you got? A one. A one. So one of something. Okay. I wish I had a two right now. You wish you had a two right now? You want to open one that has a two? Well, you'd have a one. Hmm. Ooh, one castle. Yep. Not that one. All right, flip over the next card. 
blue. Something that is blue. Ooh, boats. Ah! Ow. Not in there. Okay. But now's a good time. I can even show you what's on the back of one. So this has five zebras. All right, what's on the next card? The bee. Another bee? We got two bees. Hopefully we don't get stung. I wish I had an A right now. You wish you had an A right now? Well, you have a B, good sir. Maybe you can find a baby or a bottle or a <laughs> banana. A banana. Those all start with a B. Buh, buh. Mm -hmm. What? Hmm. So what do we got here? Do you see any to start? Oh, what are those? Butterflies. Buh, 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 butterflies, baby. Boo, yeah. Oh, oh there's a ball. There's a ba ba ball. ball. Dude, we are to we're doing so many bees right now. It's totally bogus. No, not bogus. But bogus does start with a B. Four. Four. That's how old you are. You are not getting it two ever. Oh. You take your four and you be happy, Luke. Some wait, wait, wait. So how many camels? Are there? Oh, Money. There's one. So we have to make sure we open one that has four. Can you just go back just a little bit? Thanks. One, two, three, four. Oh. Four apples. Huh. Not bomb. All right. We'll put right on the card. Another four. Okay. Yep, that's one day. One, two, three. Oh, wait, that has a three. Hmm. Oh, one, two, three. Yep. So, oh my god! So I don't think any of them have four, do they? So that just means we skip that turn, bummer, and go on to the next card. Sometimes that happens in games. I know. Not well designed games typically, but sometimes it happens. Whoa. Okay. Boo! Aardvark! Oh, oh is there one in there? Yeah! I'd be kind of scared if I saw a blue artwork. I don't know if I'd be more scared or interested. Yeah. All right. Next card, good sir. Oh. That's all right. Just put them back in the pile. Not a big deal. Oh. Yeah. It's right there. Yeah. And what's the next card? Ooh, A. A letter A. Oh, um, I did a ball. Airplanes. There's ball there? How'd you know? Because when I was liking for this one, oh, I saw that. Oh, okay. Try not to do that. Okay. okay, I'm not. I know sometimes. No, it's I done. I know sometimes it's hard not to do that, but that would, if this were like a competitive game, that would be cheating. But since we're just playing, we're just kind of cooperating right now. Ball. Is there another ball? Holy moly! Put it in there. No treasure chest yet. There's oh, I have one more. Five left. <laughs> <laughs> Flip over the next card. Flip over the next card. Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> I think Luke might have saw where the next ball is. What what you get? A two. A two. Is it a two? Holy guacamole, it's a two. I think that's what you wanted for a while, wasn't it? Yep. Alright. Which one would you like to open up? Look, try to peep, poke through, okay? Really, no ball. No ball? Oh, okay. Flip over the next card. Oh, yeah. You always forget about the cards. Four. Yep. We already figured out there's nothing with four, is there? Yep, so flip over the next the card. card. <laughs> yep, we just stepped it down. Yeah. Ooh, something that is red. Oh, ball! Oh, is it the ball? Oh yeah, baby! Put it in there. He's gonna open the treasure chest. Push it down. Let's see. Uh. Oh yeah, baby! Boo yeah! Ooh, gold and treasure. I don't think that part was actually supposed to come out. I'm gonna guess uh, Luke. Or I'm gonna guess Sean ripped it out. One. Oh no, it comes out. Yeah. Oh, it twists in. Very cool. Oh, very nice. I never knew for the longest time it twisted in and out. But there you go, buddy. That was crazy. Oh, you want to open those? You're going to need a C. Hey, you need a B for that. You need a C or a yellow. You get out of here. No. 
Sabaz. All right, so that was Cranium Caribou and the beginner mode. Did you like it, Luke? Yeah, that was awesome. Would you like to try it on the advanced mode next time with some bigger numbers, some different letters? I could also help you, too. Yeah. You want to try that out next time? Yeah. Very, very cool. But that is Cranium Caribou, a magical treasure hunt game. I played it with my seven-year-old son, Sean, and he absolutely loved the thing. And uh, this this is just one of those games that when you get it, I think you're going to play it for a very long time as long as you have uh, a lot of kids that you work with. So definitely want to recommend. Would you recommend this to a whole bunch of teachers out there? Yeah. Well, Dad, I need a twister if I need it for what I'm going to say. Oh, you have to twist it, uh, I believe, to the... So twist and pull up at the same time. So more twisting, less pulling. Yep, I'll pull up a little bit. Oh, I think you got it. Hey, high five. Boom. All right. Well, we're, if you wait, have... wait, we're not to the question yet. Uh... Do you want to do the outro? Yeah. If you So you say, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to click on the subscribe button. No. I think you can do it. You. Yeah. Try it. If you mess it up, it's not a big deal. What did you just say? If you enjoy this video... Then click on the subscribe button down below. <laughs> you do it. I just I just did do it. But in the comments below, let me know what's your question for the people, Luke. Well, if you had treasure, what would it be? Ooh, what would it be? Ooh, mine out of the first. Okay. Mine would be special glitter that opens things. Special glitter? When I sprinkle it on it. That sounds really cool. Oh, and you want to see how to take the balls out? Yeah. So watch this. You press this down, and then this slides oh, back know. so you can get the ball out. And you want to see how it actually works, how the sausage gets made. Don't get don't get a copyright strike. Uh, as you put the balls in, they they eventually, once you have enough balls, they push this, and look, it, it does this little clasp. So you see, if you press this button, look right here. Look right here. See? See how that goes in? Which means, boop. But let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Not bad no more. I'll put them all back in the house. Thanks.